Lining patterns. We're going to take another piece of card, score it down the centre, and it's going to be folded. Line that with the centre, and then we'll draw it on. Start with cutting this line to the back. We're going to add a 5mm allowance around the top line. This is not for folding, this is for trimming. Where the upper is stitched to the lining, the lining will be 5mm larger. It's going to be perfectly symmetrical. Start furthest from the centre and then finish up nearer the centre. That's the vamp lining. Put a notch in the front to show it's the centre. Ready to go. What we need to do now is the part that goes to the back. In any shoe. The counter lining, which is here at the back, has to travel a shorter distance than the upper does. And between these two is the stiffener. So we have to make it smaller. Linings also tend to be made out of softer materials. We start by measuring in two millimeters at the top line, and then we line up with where the feather edge meets the back curve. We're going to reflect through this line at the back, which runs from two millimetres in from the top line, and the point that the back curve touches the counterpoint. Okay. And we draw in the shape of the counter line. Like that. The top line needs to have trimming allowance, 5mm, and an underlay here where it can join on with the vamp. So starting with the 5mm, I'm just going to put a little spike on it so that that will mark the centre. set 8 millimetres. We're then going to cut away and remove the back curve. Apply the stitch markings. As always, we're going to label it. If we line this up with the pattern it came from, you can see where it's smaller. We also need to reduce it here. So, using your ruler, we're going to measure in six millimeters. Halfway point up the back curve, only approximate. And we're going to redraw the back curve.
but this needs to be stitched. So we need to add a two millimeter allowance. And once that's added, you can then cut it out. There's your counterlining. lining. 